Hi friends, welcome to this video on uh, Packet Tracer activity Upgrade a Cisco IOS image using a TFTP server Just we will see the objectives uh, Upgrade an IOS image on a Cisco device Then we will backup an IOS image on a TFTP server uh, before uh, going to the packet tracer activity you can uh, read this uh, scenario here what they given here they talk about the use of a tftp server uh, with the intermediary devices well uh, now we will come to uh, part two one upgrade an ios image on a cisco device so upgrade an ios image image on a router Access the TFTP server and enable the TFTP service. Note the IOS images that are available on the TFTP server. Which IOS images stored on the server are compatible with 1841? Right, we will uh, do these uh, two things and uh, we can uh, check uh, in the server uh, which is compatible with uh, 1841. Now we will come to TFTP server. We will go to services and uh, we'll come to TFTP here. We can see this uh, TFTP service is uh, off. We are going to put it on. Now we will check the IOS which is compatible with 1841. Yes, here we can see. Yes, here is uh, one IOS. Here we can see the another one and here we can see the another one. Yes, total we can see three IOS which is compatible with uh, 1841. Now we will come to uh, C. From R1, issue the show flash command and record the available flash memory. Right, we will come to R1 now. Here is R1. We come to CLI. Here we are going to give show flash. Right. Here we are going to see the available memory. Here we can see uh, the memory uh, bytes used. Here we can see the available memory. Yes. So that is a 49928533 is available. Also, here we can see the total memory. Now we will come to D. Copy the IP base with a strong encryption IOS image. That is IP base K9 for the 1841 router from the TFTP server to R1. Yes. So we are going to uh, copy this IOS uh, image uh, to this uh, 1841 router. So here we can see the uh, command copy TFTP to flash so they will ask this a uh, tftp uh, host ip address we have to specify that after that we have to specify the source file name so this is the source file for that ios uh, image then uh, they will uh, uh, ask for the destination file name uh, we can give the default uh, destination file name so we have to press enter again so uh, it starts uh, loading the ios uh, to uh, this uh, router Yes, now we will come to R1. Enable. Here we are going to give a copy. TFTP to flash. So here uh, address or name of the uh, remote host. So we have to check the IP address of this uh, TFTP server. Uh, here we can see the IP address 192.168.2.254 We will give this IP address 192.168.2.254 Now we will specify the source file name So here is the file name and to destination file name, we are going to give the default uh, destination. I am going to press enter here. Yes. Now we will go to E. Verify that the IOS image has been copied 
to flash how many ios images are located in the flash well uh, we will uh, see that now we will come to r1 here i am going to give a show flash yes here we can see two bin files so this will be the ios files in this router also we can see the files uh, we loaded to this uh, this uh, i mean to this uh, router yes here it is ip base k9 right also we will check the current ios running using show version so uh, that must be uh, the first uh, uh, ios file here we'll verify that yes here we can see system image file is uh, c1841 ip base mz.123-14 dot uh, t7 dot bin right uh, so uh, here we can see that yes this is the first ios file now we will go to next uh, use the boot system command to load the ip base image on the next reload we have to give uh, this command for that boot system flash then we have to specify that ios file name then we have to save the configuration and to reload r1 verify the upgraded ios image is loaded after r1 reboots well uh, we will uh, do this now we will come to r1 we will go to the global configuration mode configure terminal and here we are going to give boot system flash then we have to specify that file name ios file name yes here is that okay now we will serve the configuration okay and uh, now we will uh, reload r1 proceed with the reload yes confirm self decompressing the image well we will wait a moment yes after reloading we can check the ios uh, details so here we can see that cisco ios software 1841 software and uh, this is ip base k9 yes now we will uh, come to <coughs> sorry the router enable here we will check the show flash and uh, yes here we can see i'm going to give show version yes yes here we can see now system image file is ip base k9 hyphen mz dot one two four one two dot bin yes yes we loaded the router r1 with the specified ios image now uh, we will come to step 2 upgrade an ios image on a switch access the tftp server and copy the file c2960 hyphen landbase hyphen mz dot one two two hyphen two five dot fx dot bin image to s1 right uh, we will uh, do this now we will come to s1 enable so before going to that uh, i am going to check the flash here we can see the uh, bin file yes this is a different uh, ios uh, what we are going to copy to this uh, switch uh, right now we will copy that copy tftp to uh, flash now we have to specify the IP address, the IP address of uh, the TFTP server. 
that is 192.168.2.254 now we will specify the file name yes here it is yes again we are going to press enter yes it's loaded next is uh, verify that this new image is listed first in the show flash output the first image listed the show flash output is loaded by default right also uh, reload s1 and to verify the new image has been loaded into memory well uh, we will verify that now we will come to s1 here we are going to uh, give show flash and uh, here we can see the file what we copied right now yes now we will uh, reload uh, this uh, switch yes yes so here we can verify the image yes c2960 software uh, lan base m yes and we can see the version 12.2 fx now we will come to uh, part 2 backup an ios image to a tftp server on R2, display the contents of a flash and record the iOS image. Coming to R2. Here we can see the flash. Yes, so here is the uh, iOS file. I'm going to copy that. Next is uh, use the copy command to backup the iOS image in flash memory on R2 to a TFTP server. Right, we are going to copy from flash to TFTP. We will come to R2. Here we are going to copy from uh, flash to TFTP. So source file name, here I am going to paste that, what are we copied previously. Yes, now address or name of a remote host. Here we are going to specify the address of the TFTP server. That is 192.168.2.254. Destination file name, we are going to give the default file name. Right, so it's writing to the TFTP server yes now we will come to the next uh, here is access the tftp server and to verify that the ios image has been copied to the tftp server right we will verify that now we will come to tftp server here services tftp service here and here we are going to see the image c1900 right we will check that yes here we can see that c1900 universal k9 hyphen mz dot spa dot 151 hyphen 4 dot m4 dot bin so uh, it is uh, copied from the flash uh, of uh, router 2 to the tftp server yes here we can see the completion status 90 out of 90 here uh, we completed uh, upgrade a cisco ios image also backup an ios image using a tftp server friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my videos give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest video uploading info into your gmail thank you